I told the police, you better find them before I do, because I'm going to kill them. I'm going to blow their heads off. Tepper said, take me to that smoke shop on Crenshaw. I need to get some cigarettes. When I pulled in, I just pulled in and said, I might as well wash the car. He said, Mommy, this guy's banged on me. And that's when I said, well, you know what, Tevin? Let's go. Because ain't nobody around here ever banged on you. That's not cool. I ran around the car. I grabbed Tevin. I laid him on the back seat. I raised him. I said, you just shot my son? And the boy shot him two more times in the heart. He just dressed the way he wanted to dress. They was just punking him because they knew he had special needs. You can look at Tevin and tell he, he had issues. He was 20, but he never grew into 20. This is how he was. This is his size, and this is how he stood to me. My partner and I continued to drive through the neighborhood in the following days, and we observed Dwight Smith not too far from the crime scene. Dwight was standing in the driveway right here and uh, just stopped and looked at him and just the look on his face we knew we, that was the right person. He told us everything that happened. Kanasha did it. He said I saw him get out of the car that belonged to Kevin you know and walk in and I watched him go do the shooting and he ran away. Getting a conviction in exchange for having someone new injured or possibly killed is not something to take lightly. I just miss my child a lot. The boys, when they shot, killed my son, they killed me, basically.